Kid! If you ever see this, there are- or anybody who- If, if you eat scat- <laughs> Don't! <laughs> I mean, that's all there is to it. Oh no, my high jump power. There are better things to eat. Like, food! <laughs> No, I mean, Jesus, if you eat scabs, you're gross. That's it. You're gross. You're gross, and I get to make fun of you. <laughs> you're not going to be a productive member of society, you scab eater. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Geeky Girly Gaming. I'm Lady Holly. And I'm Lord Brent. <laughs> Bow down, peasant. <laughs> That's what I've been doing at work. <laughs> He's if you, everyone if you watched the last episode of this, you'll know what we're talking about. Uh, I've got the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> the long short of it is we I'm became a lord. a lord and a lady. And, uh, and that's going Brent just great. loves it. Brent only did it because he wanted to be called Lord Brent. Lord Brent. I was like, Lady Holly. Come on. Really? <laughs> Why not? You love it. It, I don't know. I don't need anyone to really call me that. I <laughs> love it. Alright, so we're playing Kirby's Adventure. And in the, at the end of the last episode, I remembered this little theory that I kind of came up with while I was editing. Um, I was typing out a description. I don't know if anyone reads YouTube, like the descriptions on our on YouTube videos. Not just ours, but like anybody's. <laughs> I can honestly say I... Unless, I, like, if I'm watching, like, a makeup video or something where someone's doing, like, a makeup tutorial, I'll look in the description to see, like, what products they used and stuff, um, if they leave that kind of information, but I don't really read descriptions that much. But I was typing out a description when I was editing one of the videos, and, um, you know, I was like, oh, Kirby's Adventure, it's got all these little cute little creatures in it, and it's so cute and everything, and then I realized, like, what the heck? Is this game even a bet? Okay? Because, okay, like, if you think about, like, Super Mario, which I've been comparing it to Super Mario a lot. Um, so, like, in Super Mario, there's a bad guy. Like, you know, like, you got, like, like, Bowser kidnaps the princess, and then, like, you know, you have to go and save the princess, and Bowser's clearly the bad guy. This game <laughs> is... Like, there's all these adorable little creatures. That are trying to kill me. <laughs> that Kirby is going around and eating. Kirby's the bad guy. Who is really the bad guy here? Kirby <laughs> is the, the bad guy. Kirby. Kirby's the villain of this game. I don't know what Kirby is doing here. Like, like you know, when you really think about it, like, why, why is Kirby here? Like, is he going to save someone? He's, is there any there, kind of like a... There's a story. Is there a story to this? Yeah. Well, what is it? Did the um, game explain it? King DDD broke the star rods and then like gave them to all these people I'm beating. So <laughs> that's kind of the gist of it. So King DDD is bad. Yeah. Is the bad guy. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> See, like, I know that, like, King DDD, but he's not playing a huge part in this. There's a little mini game where he throws eggs at you. But for the most part, you're running around as Kirby. There's all these, like, adorable little things that Kirby is eating. And not only eating, stealing their powers. Yes. <sighs> so I was like, Kirby is, like, the villain here. I don't know. Just going around eating everything. Speaking of eating... I had a story from Wonderland. Ah, uh, we didn't talk about it in the last episode. Oh yeah, I got one too, actually. Um, no, I think about it. Oh, hi. Oh god! Oh you know no! My story. Oh, I know what this story is. Oh. So, we were waiting in line in one of the five rides we got on, and <laughs> one of the five. Rides. And uh, there was there's kids everywhere, unaccompanied children. <laughs> Just unaccompanied everywhere. minor, oh un unaccompanied minors, just, just everywhere. Everywhere, ever. It's annoying. So, but not this one though. He actually was with his mom. <laughs> I think yeah. There was there was three. I don't know, teenage boy. I don't know. They looked they, about twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna say they weren't old. But, I did not witness this. But uh, so we're in glad. line, and uh, kids being kids, you know, they got scrapes on them and stuff. This is hard. Uh, the one kid, 
he had, um, what was the point of this? <laughs> he, oh, what the? He had scabs on his knee, because, you know, he's a kid, that's what happens. God damn it, I guess I wasted my time here. Um, oh wait, that's what I'm looking for. Ah! Oh, there's your point. Yeah. Anyway, the point of the story. So the point of the story, and the kid had scabs on his knees because, and like, he's... you know, and so he kind of picks at it, and like, because that's what people do when they have scabs, they pick on them, and then he like tried to surreptitiously, just sneakily, he, he picks the scab off, and his friend talks to him, and he goes, <laughs> sticks, it, sticks it in his mouth. <laughs> And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, did this I kid, just see that? This kid was not five years old, this okay? Kid this was like kid was like 13, 12, 12, 13. 13, maybe, I don't know. He just stick a scab in his mouth. So Fred's like, that kid just ate a scab. That kid just ate a scab. Now, <laughs> I did not see this kid eat the scab. So Brent just starts calling this kid Scab Eater. For scab the whole eater. Thing. That's his name. <laughs> Every time, because we ended up in another line with this kid in it, and Brent's like, they're Scab Eater. They're scab but when Brent told me what he had done, um, I was like, ew. But then he gets on, we get, like, we're, he wasn't, no, he was on, he got on the ride before us, and he sat in a seat that was facing us, and I could see this scab on yeah. his knee, and it was like this big, and okay? It like, it was huge. <laughs> and it was bleed like okay, it looked like it had a band-aid on it, but um when, the band-aid was When I saw was gone. him, when I saw him, he first had like a bit he took like a little bit of this big scab, a little bit of it. When he got on the ride, it the scab was gone. <laughs> he ate that whole scab. <laughs> Damn it. He and I, when I scab. saw the scab, it looked disgusting. And I was like, bleh, bleh. like I was like, yeah. oh my god. It was I'm like, oh, so Brent texts his friend and says, "I just saw I just a kid the guy eat a scab." <laughs> this is disgusting. When you see that, you're like, "Well, what the fuck, right?" <laughs> oh my god. The city sights was the what. City, <laughs> the big city sights. But I saw a kid eat a my scab. My story about eating was not as gross. Thank God. Thank God. My story about eating was just that, okay, so the last time that we went to Canada's Wonderland, we had a funnel cake. I think that I might have talked about the funnel cake it was on here. It was a big funnel cake. It was like eight inch funnel cake. And uh, we got the uh, cookies and cream one. And okay, so like a traditional normal funnel cake is just like, they make the funnel cake, they sprinkle the icing sugar on the funnel cake. And then they put um, vanilla, like a big tall thing of vanilla ice cream, and they put strawberry syrup on it. And that's your traditional funnel cake. But we got an Oreo cookie, well, cookies and cream one, the last time. And it was a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> they take this humongous funnel cake out, put it on a plate, they sprinkle the icing sugar, and then they take actual white icing and they spread it all over the top. And then they put the ice cream, and then they put um, a whole bunch of crushed up Oreo cookies, and then they put a whole bunch of chocolate sauce. <laughs> it was like, oh my god. Was... Like when we saw it being made, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> This is not gonna go well because it's just Brent and I and then we ate it and we felt like total crap after and honestly I have felt fat ever since eating that funnel cake. <laughs> so when we were walking around I saw that there were a lot of um like everywhere like in in Canada's Wonderland sold candy apples so I was like oh you know what I haven't had candy apple since I was like 10. Yeah. So next time that we go I'm gonna get a candy apple. Uh, Is this my frog? <laughs> so, first of all, the candy apple was $9 total. <laughs> For an apple on a stick that has candy on it. Like, I mean, I could probably just make that at home. So it was $9 for this candy apple, first of all. And um, I almost ripped my teeth out like multiple times trying to eat this candy apple. Uh, I was trying to eat it in the car on the way home. Yeah, in my car where I don't <laughs> allow food. <laughs> and it was very sticky. It got all over my nose. Um, I only ate like half of it. And it kept getting, okay, like a whole big chunk got stuck up in the roof of my mouth. And like, I couldn't even talk. <laughs> like if I bit into that candy, like it would like 
seal my teeth together. And like, I was like, <clears throat> and then I have to yank them apart and I was like, I am gonna rip out a tooth trying to eat this thing. So then I came home with half the candy apple. I had wrapped it all back up as best I could. I put it like a plastic bag over it too to keep it from getting everywhere. I put it in the fridge and then I was like, oh, you know, like, like, so the next night when I decided, to, like, I was like, well, I have to eat it because the apple is gonna go brown. So, um, and that was fine because like, it still tasted good. But I thought, oh, this is good. It's been in the fridge for a while. That will harden up the candy and make it easier to eat. Which it did. <laughs> but <laughs> when I was done with it, <laughs> my hands were all red. Like, it looked like I had blood on my hands. It stained my fingers all red. And then I come upstairs and I'm like, oh, it looks like I murdered someone or something. <laughs> and we were just, like, joking about it. I go in the bathroom to like look, cause I knew I had got some on my nose. There's like red all over my nose, all around my mouth is like little red splatters everywhere. Like my child. teeth were red, my tongue was red, my lips were red, it looked terrible. And in between my teeth was all like, you could see red all in, in, all, in between all my teeth. It looked like everything was bleeding pretty much. And um, it just was not worth it. <laughs> And I was like, well, I am officially too old to eat a candy apple. Um, it's a little sad. And then next time I was like, I think I'm going to get a caramel apple. <laughs> Another $9 investment. <laughs> okay, actually, the caramel apple didn't even have a price on it. But there was this, like, there was fudge there. Oh. There's always and fun. there's like these big like rectangular blocks there about like this like there yeah, that's a, that's a better way they're about like that thick and they were like this big they were pretty big and I asked the girl I said uh, how much is the fudge and she says twelve ninety nine for one like rectangle of fudge and I was like hmm <laughs> I almost got some but I didn't um, but like I think fudge would be a safe bet fudge is not gonna rip out your teeth. Fudge is like nice and soft and good. So I could just go for fudge. Um, but the nope. candy apple was so disappointing. Oh well, better than eating a fucking scab, that's for I mean, sure. <laughs> that I will never forget. Kid, if you ever see this, there are, or anybody. If, <laughs> if you eat scab. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I mean. That's all there is to it. Oh no, my high jump power. There are better things to eat. Like food. <laughs> <laughs> like food. <laughs> I mean. Oh my god, what happened there? I died. <laughs> it's been happening. I just, I don't know, I guess I just keep high jumping in this level. Yeah, so many better tasting things than a scab. There's, sure. You're in, like, the food's expensive there, but there's food. You, you get your mom to buy it. They, and then they had candy as well. Oh, yeah, they did. They had this, like, um... I don't know what. It looked like, um, like a, uh, an aerosol can. And I guess it was just, like, this candy that you squirt into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was, speaking of, started watching TV the other day. And my strange addiction was on, and her addiction was that she was, she was addicted to drinking air freshener. She sprayed air freshener. Aerosol spray. In her air mouth. Freshener. Oh, it was disgusting. I didn't watch it, but I can imagine. That yeah, was disgusting. I can't believe it. What do I do against this? One day that kid will, will be on there. Addicted to scabs. eating scabs. And not just his own scabs, probably. <laughs> He'll find others. I actually was going to make a joke, actually, now that I think about it. I noticed that one of the other kids that was with him had had a big scab on the back of his arm, but it was all picked off. And I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I guess he picked his friend's scab off and ate it too. <laughs> this is so gross. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. No, I mean, Jesus, if you eat scabs, you're gross. <laughs> you're gross. You're gross and I get to make fun of you. <laughs> You're not going to be a productive member of society, you scab eater. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't talk to I me, guess. scab eater. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think. So this is the boss yeah. that we're fighting here? Yeah. Give a big one. eyeball. Eyeball in a cloud. Oh my gosh. Should have heard me trying to read the other day. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> 
I had to go shop for some new clothes. Well, not really new clothes. We went thrift store shopping new. at Value Village. They're new to you. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to read this email. Whew. Whew. <laughs> I think I was trying to say Super oh, Saver, on. the Super Saver Savers Club or something. I yeah, can't remember. And I was like the Super Shavers Shavers Club, the Super Shavers Club, <laughs> or something. It was pretty funny. <laughs> but it was like not even that. It was like it was just like I couldn't read it all. Yeah, Every she single tried thing. For like two solid minutes just to say Super Saver <laughs> and couldn't. And like thrift, and then everything national after thrift that. store day or something. I can't remember. And I got so grumpy, you, you guys, because I we, when we were in the store and okay, see, I'm kind of an introvert. Like, and it's only getting worse as I get older, which is like terrible. Like I can't even make a phone call. Like I don't even like making phone calls. Okay, so as we're in the store. I find out that it is National Thrift Store Day or something, or Thrift Shopping Day or something, and with every purchase made at Value Village, um, they were handing out these cute little pins that was like a little shopping cart with a heart on it and or something. I can't even remember what it looked like now. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, oh, like this is today. Like I get a little a little pin. I'm so excited. And then the girl didn't give me a fucking pin, and, but like, I saw another customer like looking at her pin as she was walking out the door like, oh, and she's showing it to her friend, she's like, oh, and I was like, as we were walking out, I'm like, I didn't get a pin, and Brent's like, well, you want to go ask for one? No, because <laughs> I'm like, I feel stupid if I go and ask for a pin, so I pouted about it and I was mad, and uh, I didn't get a pin, and Brent was like, what? Like, what are you even gonna do with a pin? Yeah. Like, what, where, where would you put the pin? You don't put pins on anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I pouted about that for like most of the way home. And by the time that we finally got home, I was like, yeah, I got pretty upset about that pin, which is pretty stupid. <laughs> but uh, I'm over it now. But I didn't get the cute <laughs> little pin. You didn't get no pin. But the girl that ran me through had one of the pins on her little apron thing. <laughs> I saw them in a little bowl sitting by the cash register and I was like oh, give me next my time pin. you just have to be like uh, can I have my pin <laughs> probably won't even have pins oh yeah well that's because that's over now but if there's a next time we'll go on national thrift store day next year yeah mark it <laughs> on your calendars <laughs> and I'll get a pin but yeah, I mean, I should have just went and asked. I should have just been like, oh, sorry, like, am I supposed to get, like, a pin? But I mean, that feels so stupid, like, oh, um, I'm an adult were, and were you supposed to pin. give me a pin? Like, it's like, I'm I'm now saying that the worker is bad because she didn't do her job properly. Well, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't seem to really give a shit, though. I mean, she was she just was there for quiet. a paycheck. <laughs> I mean, and that's fine. <laughs> and I'm like, man, if I went to one of the older ladies, then I probably would have gotten a pin. This was just like a young girl who, yeah, like it's not an important job or anything. Yogurt we just made it to Yogurt Yard. These names just get kind of worse as I you hate go. hate yogurt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed all those stories that we had. And hopefully you're enjoying watching us play Kirby. I don't know how many levels there are to Kirby. Uh, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's lots. We're on level five, Yogurt Yard. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you'll join us on the next one. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye.